Hello, this is Martin Yan from CA Technologies. Today I'd like to talk about why we need passwords. Have you seen this data from the Business Week March 13, 2014 issue? Almost 1 billion with a B credentials have been stolen. The fraudsters responsible have the credentials to our banks, online applications, and corporate VPNs. Who knows what they'll do with them? Will they sell them to others? Or will they lay in wait and use them three or six months from now after we've forgotten about these breaches? Most importantly, what can we do about it? Since the internet graduated to a business asset from an educational tool, it has become more important that we know who is trying to access what information. This is done with two pieces of information. The username gives end users a username to identify themselves and the password proves that each user owns that name. This username password paradigm has been around for years. Everyone uses passwords today. They are part of the gateway to the internet for millions of users. In the enterprise world, traditionally, your username is selected for you by your enterprise. In the consumer world, we usually select our own identity either by using our name, nickname, or sometimes an email address. After we select our identity, we pick a password. When additional authentication is required, we have choices of the things that we want to use to create or validate our credentials. Something that you know, something that you have, or something that you are. Passwords can have conformity in terms of requirements for how long they need to be, have upper and lowercase letters and numbers, and maybe a need to include other special characters. Typically, the end user selects a password, although some systems provide an initial or temporary one that normal humans cannot remember. Once the end user logs in the first time, they're forced to select their own private password according to the set of rules. Web solutions also usually try to minimize help desk calls by providing some self-service method of changing or resetting your password if you forget it. But what we can do to protect these credential parts of our credentials? We need something to use with our usernames, but because there have been many places for your password to be used, seen, and managed, credentials are ripe for attack by fraudsters. See the problem here? Passwords are all over the place, on servers and directories, on backup files, which provide excellent targets for the fraudsters. Both enterprises and users have a shared responsibility to protect passwords from fraudsters. Enterprises can implement solutions that do not store passwords in any backend solutions or systems. Users can be empowered to use credentials that allow them to be the only one who knows the password. This can significantly eliminate fraud by making the target of the attack out of the scope of the fraudster and helping the end user protect their credentials. The CA Archive ID PKI credential is based on public key infrastructure. It uses standard X509 certificates within the credentials that are created. Validation occurs with a standard PKI challenge response dialog between the client's private key and the public key stored on the authentication server. The private key on the client side is protected by patented technology that allows for the hiding of the valid private key amongst millions of other correctly formed but invalid keys. Since the private key is not kept on the server, it cannot be stolen, and the key on the client device is protected against brute force attack by the nature of the patented technology. For more information, please see our companion video on cryptographic camouflage for more details. It's on the CA Educate channel on YouTube. Please visit our CA Advanced Authentication and SiteMinder channels on YouTube. They're available at www.ca.com. They explain in more detail how CA can help you protect your credentials from attack while continuing to provide a seamless end user experience with higher level security. Thank you for joining us today. For more information, please visit our website at ca.com forward slash security.